A broken arm, metal pins in his leg, a fractured nose, and deep cuts on his hand. Injuries that could take months to heal. Sa'id and dozens of other Palestinians were trying to scale a separation wall, crossing into Israel to find work. He lost his footing and fell. Sa'id says he's lucky to be alive. When asked why take such a risk, he just looks around the room. Which is better, to work or ask for charity? What can we do? There is no work, there is no choice. I was going to work to help my family. Adults can tolerate hunger and anything else, but what about the kids? Who will bring diapers and milk for these children? How can they understand that there is a war and slaughter going on? How can they understand? In Israel, they can make enough to survive doing construction work, painting houses, electrical repair, and other manual labor. But since the war on Gaza, Israel has barred entry to most Palestinian workers, leading to an unemployment crisis. Some Palestinians are killed by Israeli bombs and bullets. For others, Saeed's father says, long-term unemployment is starting to feel like a slow death. It is not uncommon for people to scale these high walls because on the other side is Israeli territory. It is a chance to find some work, to earn some money. But seeking financial salvation, in a sense, by sneaking into Israel, the very country that is oppressing you and your people, is no doubt for those doing it a pride-swallowing endeavor. Some pay with their lives. Earlier this month, Abdul Rahim Amir, a father of seven, died after nearly a month in Israeli custody, detained in Israel along with his son for not having work permits. A father trying to feed his family died in his son's arms on the floor of an Israeli prison cell. No work in the occupied West Bank and no help on the horizon means few options. <laughs> If you don't want us to go to Israel, should we steal? If we had another choice, we would not go to work in Israel. We would not take the risk. We would stay here, where it's safe. Saeed says when he's better, he'll try once more, even if it means risking his life again, just to give others a fighting chance. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.